Alright guys, welcome back to episode 2 of the Sunderland Road to Glory. I'm glad you guys enjoyed episode 1, the support has been unreal, considering it's a brand new channel <clears throat> and a brand new series, honestly I can't thank you guys enough. So starting this episode then, we have got a Carabao Cup game against QPR. How we're going to do this is every episode is going to be a month, or if there's 4 games in a month, we're going to play 4 and skip sim some. So, but if there's like six games, then it might be a longer episode. We'll play like three, skip two, or skip one, play a couple on certain certain ones that we think we will win. So, August is quite a busy month. We've got um, we're away in the cup against QPR, uh, away against MK Dons, away against uh, Burton. <clears throat> we're at home against Wimbledon and Wickham. So we are probably going to play um, the cup. MK Dons and Wickham and I think I'm going to try and sim against Burton Albion and AFC Wimbledon to get through this so every episode should be a month guys if not it might be a little bit longer January will probably split into two with it being the transfer window as well so we're going to jump straight into this one guys and we're getting the game against QPR Alright guys, so this is the starting lineup we're going with. We've had to rotate a couple of players just because stamina and fitness isn't there yet. And we have got development plans on to build this up. Um, so we've brought in Willis, Bath and uh, Exmagi Lee. So a whole new back line. We've changed the formation up. Uh, we've got Serking on the left, Huggins on the right, Pritchard and Oneen, Clark, Stewart and Abu Abui, one of our new signings. So we're going to jump in this one against QPR. So here we go then. We are away, so we're at the Kyan Prince Foundation Stadium. I'm not expecting us to get through the Cups, to be fair. I'm trying to focus on getting promotion. That's my number one priority. But let's get into this one. Hopefully we can get off to a good start. Maybe we whip that in. Go on. Oh, Stuart, I thought he was getting on the end of that. Playing well here. Can we get a shot off? Oh, what a save from Dieng. To Pritchard. To Abui. Back to Pritchard. Oh, O'Neill with the shot, but it wasn't really a shot. Playing nice passing, but we're just not making the chances. Oh, he's give that away. To Pritchard. To Abui. Oh, our first goal of the series and the season, Malcolm Abui, a brand new transfer from Derby County. He's a youngster with great potential. I'm so glad we brought him. And he gets our first goal. Lovely build-up play. I thought we missed it when he went on his weak foot, but we've still managed it. We're 1-0 up. Oh, they've given the ball away again. Stewart. Into a buoy. He's in again. No, he's... <sighs> and he didn't let go of his left foot, not his right. That was a big miss. Brilliant defending there. And that's half-time, guys. We're 1-0 up against QPR. Allen, but after giving our defensive line a game... Oh, brilliant. Jack Clark is onside as well. What a run. Hit that. Oh, no. Yeah, as I was saying, our defence, I can't knock them. They've been solid at the back there today. It just means we've got good backup, I suppose, if we brought in Harry Darling as well. Right, let's see if we can win this corner. Ah, oh, Ross Stewart again. Just wasn't on target, but he's definitely our target man in the box. Linden Gooch, he's kept hold of the ball well here. He's still running with it as well. Oh, the pass to Pritchard was on. And that is it, guys. We get our first win of the series against QPR in the Cup. But I, I was not expecting that, but I'll take it. A 1-0 win into the next round. Happy as Larry. All right, guys. So this is our second game in the league and our second game of this episode up against MK Dons. And hopefully we can get a win. We haven't got with this lineup. Looks like I said we're gonna to have to keep rotating players because in League One you get that many games. You get you play twice a week, and some of these players they're just not fit enough. So we're gonna to have to keep rotating. But let's get into this one, and hopefully we can get three points. So here we go then. Harry Darling, 
He's played up against his old former team now. And this is his first league game, I believe. Might be wrong, but I think it is. I'm hoping we can. I'm hoping Scott Twine doesn't come back to haunt us because we, we want him, but they just won't sell to us. He's not. He's too important. It says to the club. Come on. No one's really had a. I don't even think we've had a shot and target either team yet. Sort of a game of chess at the moment. A stalemate. As I say, that the through on goal, and that's one nil. Mk Dons. No. I don't. Oh, that's just our look. I knew it as soon as I said it. I thought they're going to go score, and they have with their first attack and first shot on target. Troy Parrott, what a brilliant youngster, and puts MK Dons 1 0 up. So we've got some work to do now to come from behind to get the three points. Where's our players? Why are they sitting so deep? We need a win. And that's it, guys. 1 0 at half time. We need to shuffle things about because something's not quite clicking. So here is then second half guys, I've made no changes, I'm trusting the process that we can somehow get <clears throat> something from this game, and surely that's a foul ref, no, okay, I haven't seen much of Scott Twine in this game, touch wood, and, you, and now he's through, oh my god, oh, brilliant save from Patson. I thought Troy Parrott had doubled his lead there. Oh, we need to close Scott Twine down. We can't give him space on the ball like that. Clear the ball. Harry Darling. In Stewart. Jack is making a beautiful run there, but Harvey got a cross. They've defended well. Oh my god, a basic pass. How are we not passing that? No. I had to. Oh, it's probably going to be a red card. No, it's a yellow. Ooh, we're okay. Gonna have to make some subs though because some think they're knackered. Um, Huggins. See, I've got no strikers to bring on at all to switch it up. Everyone's quite tired. I can bring on Embleton. We, we, we may as well try them. Um, will he play right mid for me? It says he can, but it, he won't. Um... Oh man, I don't know what to do here. I feel like we bring Jack Clark on anyway. I think it's a no-brainer really. Um, Why? Right, we'll just stick with this for now guys. If we've, got to, we've got 15 minutes left to play. If we're going to win, we've got to do something quick. If not, we're going to play for a draw at least. But here comes a free kick from MK Dons. Scott Twine dwells on the ball too much, but we've still got it. Clear that. Got to win this. Scott Twine to deliver it. Five minutes left to play. Patrick Roberts follow him. Oh, no. 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 Oh, that's game done and dusted. <clears throat> Connor Wickham. I swear he used to play for Sunderland as well and he's he's won the game for MK Dons there. Ah, <sighs> nightmare. Our first loss by the looks of it in the league. Well, our first loss in the whole series to be fair. I think we're going to have to look in, look at definitely bringing in a striker. We got Joel Eder. I'm just thinking playing simply now just back up to Stewart and Broadhead because we don't have no one he is a winger but we can probably retrain him as a centre forward uh, he's not going to be first choice I just want something to bring off the bench Scott Twine was my first choice but we, he do it, we just can't buy him but anyway guys we're going to move on now to yeah he's declined that on to the two, we're going to sim both of these games against Burton Albion and, uh, what was the other one? Uh, Wimbledon, sorry. Uh, we're sat in 19th with one point from two games. Brilliant, hopefully that'll be the last time you see us there. But guys, I'm going to go ahead and just quick sim it and hope we can get a win really. I'm hoping and praying 
What do we? Oh yes, and we get a two-one win there with Huggins and Stewart on the score sheet. I'll take that. We should be beating Burton Albion, and we should be beating Wimbledon as well with both of these sims. I'm hoping we're going to pick up six points from them two games. Huggins the hero. I just wanted to say thank you for giving me the chance to show what I can do. I feel I'm ready for regular game now. You, you're an outstanding son. Hey, Gavin, it's been really well for us recently. You know how happy I am playing for you and playing for this. Just wondering if it might be a good time for to us to talk about when you're in my contract. I'd like to know where I stand. Um, We'll take a look at that because, to be fair, we do need to be looking at contracts. It's something I forgot. A lot of them are running out in 12 months. Um, so where is Robert? Here he is. I'll delegate it. He wants seven to ten grand in extra two years. I'll give him that, you know. I'm happy with that. We sign him down for a long term. But we'll move on. Pritchard. Oh. Okay. Now, there is a whole city player I would like. And that is um, Keen Lewis Potter. Now, just hear me out. I know we're in League One, and I think it's stupid to be going for a player of that calibre right now. But why couldn't we? Why couldn't we offer them? If we negotiate, they're willing to give me 1.5. I'm willing to give them Pritchard. Do we let Pritchard? Who's better? I'm willing to give him Pritchard. I am. I'm going to do this. Player swap. I would like, uh, not striker, Keen Lewis Potter. He's worth 3 million. You were willing to give me. I'm willing. You know what? I'll go in with that. Would they take that? Fingers crossed, we're getting a very good player in Keen Lewis Potter. Oh, oh my god, what have I done that for? I didn't. <laughs> Obviously, they were going to reject it. I wanted to give them Pritchard and charge them 1500. Oh. Well, I've ruined that opportunity. Never mind. We'll try again in a week. We'll have to try again in a week, guys. I didn't realise, didn't read it properly. I was asking them to give us 1500 plus Keen Lewis Potter and I did not realise at all. But, We've got an offer in here for Jordan Willis. I'm not willing to let go any more defenders. Um, but we're going to quick sim this Wimbledon game. Oh, oh my God, Bruchup Dortmund have come in for Dennis Serkin. I don't really think I want to let this guy go. I haven't really got, I ain't got back up for him. I've got Huggins. I've got Trey Hume, but I don't. We don't need to get rid. I'm going to reject it. We don't need to get rid of him. I think we should give him one season at least. But let's jump into this one. We'll sim this with this first team. Fingers crossed, guys. Come on, can we get back-to-back -back wins? Oh, and we get a loss, a 1-0 defeat against Jack Rodoni, who were actually scouted in our transfer hub. Someone I would potentially like to bring to the club. Oh, my God. It happened with MK Dons and Scott Twine. Now, Jack Rodoni has come back to haunt us for not just straight up buying him. Callum Doyle transfer. We've got a lot of players now coming in. I don't want to let Callum Doyle go. He's going to be our number one. Can we go back in for Keen Lewis Potter as our striker? Embleton. Ooh. I'm maybe more interested in this deal, actually. 
I don't think he's going to get much game time in the midfield. I can't use him as a right mid. He's not good. I'm going to let him go, guys. I, I, he's not going to be used, if I'm being honest. And If we can get the money, we may as well get the money. Oh, we've got a cup game in the middle of this. Okay, and then we got Wickham as in half. It's busy month. Um, I'm gonna sim against Carlisle. We've got to win. We've got to win in the cup. Like, I'm gonna quick sim it. We should be beating these with with ease, and we do. We get a two-one win. A buoy with a double with a nice brace there takes his goal tally to three for the season. He's playing well since coming in really on that uh, right hand side. And then we're going to play this final game up against Wickham Wanderers. Another offer for Willis. He's going nowhere. But before we do that, I want to try something with Keane Lewis Potter. I want to put in Pritchard, just because they're interested in Pritchard, because they're coming with an offer for him. He's worth 1.2. I'm willing to give you more money. I'm willing to give you... That would... It's still short of his evaluation. If I give you eighteen hundred plus his value, that's three million. Will will they take this? What are they gonna say? Okay, see they they're interested. I didn't really want to pay two point one. Can we counter offer this of two point nine? Edit the sell-on clause. Seven percent. We just take oh, still two. What about if we keep the twelve percent sell-on clause? It's a lot. I can't see us selling him though. If I'm honest, will they take one point nine? Ah, oh, the set. Right. Okay. This might might do it though, guys. We are getting a bargain in Keen Lewis Potter. If we can get him, he will be our striker. But we can use him all over. Oh my god, they're really not willing to drop on that evaluation. I'm go once more. Okay, they'll accept that with a twelve percent. I'm taking it, running with it. We get Keen Lewis Potter, and we'll delegate that. He wants seven to ten, eleven grand. I, I, I say we give him it. He's overall of seventy, so he's the same as Stewart. Why can't we bring him to a club the size of Sunderland? Sunderland's actually a bigger club than Hull City. But he will be a massive addition to the squad, guys. Um, but yeah, so we've got the last game of this episode. And then next episode will be deadline day. And Embleton has actually just been sold. So that gives us more money there in the pot. Um, we get 900, 900 grand, really. So that puts our money up a bit, though. But yeah, we'll jump into this game against Wickham. It's the last game of this episode. Here we go against Wickham. We're at home at the Stadium of Light. We have changed the team up a little bit. I will show you guys it. We've gone with Broadhead, Dejaka, Stewart up top, Mateti, Pritchard, what potentially could be his final game for Sunderland here today. Huggins, Willis, Hume, Exmagi, Serkin and Patterson. But let's get into this one, guys, and see if we can pick up another three points. Wickham are a good side though, who I imagine will be up there or thereabouts come the end of the season. Huggins, can you deliver that? Oh my god, what a ball into the box and Matetti with an opening goal in under 15 minutes. What a start to this game. What a brilliant delivery from Huggins there in that right back. He just whips that ball across and Matetti is there. 1-0. Let's push on and get double our lead as soon as possible. Not let them have the ball for long. With him. I don't know if I'm playing him in the wrong position, but they're in. Hanland got a goal. Wickham 1-1. One, one. Oh. I'm looking to bring in some subs. I don't rate Dejaka. I really don't. I've got to play Linden Gooch. It's the better option. Dan Neal's coming on from a Teddy as well. It is the better option. Ah oh, man. That's a nightmare. We should 
still be winning, but Brandon Hanlon is given the lead. No, not the lead, sorry, an equaliser out wide to Nathan Broadhead. Back to Kirkin. Plays a lovely ball over to. Oh my god, Pritchard! Oh! What a goal from Sunderland. Nathan Pritchard, who I think I might be making the wrong decision on here because he has had an outstanding game in the red and white jersey. But what a goal. What a header from Lyndon Gooch and Pritchard on the volley. Wow, what a goal. Did that come off his knee or his shin? It looked it, but that could be the winner. So 15 minutes left to play. My God, what a ball out wide. I don't know if I can let him go, guys. Oh my God, we're in with Stuart. <laughs> what a goal at the death. We make it 3-1 against Wickham. For some reason, Pritchard changed our game there. Wow. Come on. You guys, I think you have to let me know down below in the comment section, guys. What do we do? I just hope you... What a finish from Stuart. Honestly, Pritchard... Yeah. I think he was trying to prove me a point in that game. Not to sell him. But that is it, guys. We've won 3-1 against Wickham Wanderers. And... The last 10-15 minutes, Pritchard was unplayable and it was outstanding football. But guys, that is going to do it for this episode. Next episode is going to be transfer deadline day. So be sure to let me know down below in the comment section any of your feedback so far in the series. Any transfers you would like me to maybe look at to bring into the club either now or in January or in the summer. But yeah, I just appreciate your support on the series so far, guys. Continue to hit that like button. Continue to get involved in the comment section down below. And your guys' support is absolutely amazing. But without further ado, I'll see you guys on deadline day.